Welcome, friends, to a very special episode of Why You Should Join a Guild to Acquire Mounts. Now, this might be a slightly controversial video for people that may not find the benefit of being in a guild. I mean, everybody has their ups and downs in guilds. But I just wanted to show you what mounts you can acquire there and also what battle pets you can end up acquiring if you're in a guild. I'm going to start us off in Stormwind here and we're going to head to a guild vendor. So the guild vendor is going to be located right around here in the trade district. I went a little bit too far. He's by the front gate. You'll end up finding a golden lion sitting out front. You want to go ahead and head on inside and there will be a vendor there that is called a guild vendor. Very easy. Now for this character, I went in and to look and see what mounts are available and I don't see anything. And that's because I am not exalted. So there are some prerequisites to this is you need to be exalted with your guild to acquire the mounts that I'm going to be talking about, but also your guild as a whole needs to have finished some of the requirements in order to unlock these mounts, and I'll explain in a second. Switching to my Horde character, which is exalted with the guild that she is in, and they have also finished all the requirements needed. Also, the guild vendor has changed in Orgamar. It's over in this location, so don't freak out if you can't find it. <laughs> Not only does the guild vendor end up selling you pets and mounts, it also sells you a whole bunch of heirloom gear if you're curious about that. The Dark Catchling Battle Pet can end up being acquired in the shop if your guild has the achievement United Nations and you are honored with the guild. The Armadillo Pup you can get if your guild has the achievement Critters Killed Squad and you are exalted. The guild page is locked behind the achievement Horde Slayer or Alliance Slayer, depending on which faction you end up going into your guild on, and you need to be honored. The guild Herald is locked behind the achievement Profit Sharing, and you need to be honored with the guild. Now I do want to note that if you are on Alliance characters, these will be humans, not orcs. Now let's take a gander at the mounts. First off, you have the Reigns of the Corcron Annihilator. This is for a horde only. The Alliance get Reigns of the Golden King, which is the line I'll show you at the end of the video. This is the mount again that I had at the beginning of the video if you're curious. Now for this one, I'm honestly not really sure how you can acquire this now because it, your guild would have had to get the achievement guild level 25, which I don't think guilds have levels anymore. I could be mistaken. You can let me know in the comments below, but you might end up having to go into an older guild that has gotten this achievement in order to be able to attain these mounts. Next, we have Reigns of the Dark Phoenix. Your guild will have to get the achievement Guild Glory of the Cataclysm Raider, and you don't have any reputation requirements to obtain this mount. Next, and I know I'm going to end up butchering this name, but you have Little Terragosa. And in order to acquire this battle pet, your guild has to get the achievement Dragon Wrath. Terragosa's Rest Guild Edition, and you need to be exalted. The next mount we have is Reigns of the Thunder Jade Cloud Serpent. Your guild would have had to get the achievement Guild Glory of the Pandaren Raider, and you need to be exalted. Next, you have the Battle Pet Death Watch Hatchling. Your guild will need to get the achievement Challenge Warlords Gold Slash Guild Edition, and you need to be revered. The next mount is the Black Steel Battle Boar. Your guild needs to get the achievement Guild Glory of the Draenei Raider, and you need to be exalted. All of the battle pets listed can be obtained by Horde and Alliance. The Black Steel Battle Boar, the Dark Phoenix, and the Thundering Jade Cloud Serpent can be ridden by Horde and Alliance. The only difference for guild achievements is Alliance gets the Golden King and Horde gets the Corcoran Annihilator. In order to know if your guild has acquired any of these achievements, it's really easy to find out. You just open your achievements menu and you click guild. This is what I meant by having your guild be level 25. In my guild, it's listed under feats of strength, so I'm not actually sure if this is something that can be acquired, but again, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. If your guild does not have all of these achievements, maybe see what they're missing and see if maybe you can get the guild on board to start doing stuff to help progress the guild to get some of these achievements so everybody can get these pets and mounts. I do know that over the years, having a guild seems to be dwindling of the purpose of why unless you are trying to raid or, you know, maybe role play. But I honestly think that if we just try to band together and just be a whole group of everything, that it won't be so bad. 
I know I haven't had always the best experience in my past life in guilds, but they're not all bad. They're actually full of a lot of really great people. The only caveat that I can say of sometimes it's hard to get into the group core niche, but you know, maybe suggesting, hey, you know, I would really like this mount. Do you guys want to do stuff in order to do this? Because this is old content. So everything should be able to be breezed through pretty quickly. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the battle pets and mounts that you can find in your guild tabs. Also, there's a lot of other cool stuff that I did not cover, but I'm just going for battle pets and mounts for right now. If you enjoy this video, please do give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos like this every week. Also, I started streaming on Twitch, so maybe check that out. Or not, it's up to you. I hope everybody has a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next mount video. Bye for now.